STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. A lot of the um, federal and state education programs are pushing these areas because that's where the jobs are in the future. So what these kids are doing right now is they're doing some problem-based learning, um, which is what a lot of the medical schools go to uh, to see um, to get kids to think on their own. They're also doing research projects, which they're going to present at the Missouri Junior Academy of Sciences and the Intel Science Fair in March. Okay. I am right now. I'm putting some PVC pipe together. Uh, my project is I'm building a rain collector, and this PVC pipe is gonna the rain is gonna run through it, and it's gonna go through a little turbine, and it's gonna generate electricity, and then I will also filter the water out so it's drinkable. And that's my project basically. Um, I'm looking for a different way to uh, power like a car, hence a little model car and a little gas engine. And so, like, I'm looking at hydrogen, like Jacob, only I'm looking at it as a fuel source and not so much getting it. And then, like, biodiesel, natural gas, and um, stuff like that. Finding which one's the best. Um, we are building a terrarium type thing and see how the chemicals and fracking affect groundwater. And we're just building it right now, so yeah. Sending out surveys to schools around Missouri. Okay, we're setting up for the bedding of our gerbils, and we're going to test how the hormones affect your body. Okay, thank you. What are you doing? I'm just working on a, um, a PBL project, which is problem based learning trying to take all the information we learn in this class and put it into real life situations to solve problems. What are you doing? Um, I'm saying if a certain protein in algae is responds to light, and I'm saying that because if it does, then we can use it to cure Parkinson's. What are you doing with? Um, I'm gonna put algae in a container and put it in this and then we're going to give it no light and then we're going to give it different colors of light and we're going to see how the movement changes.